Monero, the cryptocurrency you have likely been mining on your computer for months without knowing it. Before we get into just what Monero is, I want to take a moment to sit back and thank you so much for watching this video. I love my subscribers. Seriously, you guys are awesome. And of course, you do need to remember, this is not financial advice, just the opinions of a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. Furthermore, I have received no payment for this review and I currently do not hold any Monero. Monero is one of the premier privacy coins, but why is privacy important? Well, let me put it to you like this. Would you be comfortable with your boss knowing how much money is in your bank account and what you spend your money on. Probably not. Yet this is what Bitcoin currently offers. Privacy coins come in and fill in the equivalent of digital cash. Now let's start off with the technology here. Monero uses ring signatures. This is technology which mixes together the transactions to obfuscate what is going where by randomly selecting other funds in the same block so that no one can determine the actual provenance of the funds. Key images are used to ensure that there is no double spending. The second piece of the puzzle is ring CT or confidential transaction. This technology takes ring signatures to the next level as it also hides how much is being sent. And finally, we have stealth addresses, whereby the sender puts their Monero into a secret address, which only the receiver has access to and can only be seen by those doing the transaction. We also have the secret view key, which is used to allow you to see transactions addressed to you but only you of course possess the secret key unless unless you share it with somebody else of course combine these three things together and you have a powerful privacy coin but wait it gets better as soon we are going to be seeing the implementation of project covery which takes monero to the next level yet again in terms of privacy it will actually hide your internet traffic so that if your network is being monitored, it won't be possible to see that you are using Monero. The only thing someone spying on you would see is that you are using I2P technology or invisible internet project tech. We will soon also see the implementation of Bulletproofs. This is coming in the version 9 upgrade for Monero. This will bring an 80% fee reduction as well as a lighter, faster blockchain. All transactions in Monero are private. There is no way to send an optional transparent transaction. You can check to see if an address exists, but you cannot see that address's contents. Not the total contents, not the history of transactions, just proof of existence. Let me explain how this works versus Bitcoin to let you understand a little bit better. In Bitcoin, all addresses are public. And if I know your address, I know how much money you have and you know how much money I have. When I send you money using the Bitcoin blockchain, everyone can see how much was moved between our accounts and the entire history of that Bitcoin. Monero, on the other hand, operates in a very different fashion. If I know your address, I do not know how much money you have, nor do you know how much money I have if you know my address. 
your public address does not show how much Monero is stored in your one-time addresses. When I send you funds, it is not known which public addresses are exchanging funds, nor how much is being sent, nor which coins you actually receive, nor the history of those funds. Monero is a proof of work coin running on the Crypto Knight algorithm, making it a GPU mineable coin. There are blocks every two minutes with an infinite maximum supply and a minimum reward of 0.3 Monero per minute. That all sounds awesome, right? Sign me up. But wait, there are some possible concerns with Monero that I did want to discuss with you. The ongoing struggle with big companies continually trying to build ASICs or otherwise known as super mining computers to make it possible for only big companies to be able to mine Monero. Regular people, of course, home-based miners with their gaming GPUs, for example, will be cut out. This is a constant concern, but the community is committed to keeping mining fair. This, however, is really tying up the development team as they continually have to make software upgrades to stay ahead of the hardware producers. What about reputation? Well, going back to the start of this review, to remind you, Monero has been the choice for malware and also for hackers, which has not done a lot in terms of building a positive public perception of Monero. And yet Monero has been fighting back against these bad actors with a website, warning people about how to protect themselves from such attacks. But it is the internet. There will always be victims. A website will not stop anyone from being a victim. Well, maybe a couple people. Possible future legal moves against anonymous cryptocurrencies is another big concern. If privacy coins like Monero need to survive on decentralized exchanges alone, then that may have a very big effect on liquidity, particularly in the short term. Even though the privacy nature of Monero means that every XMR you receive is essentially clean of its past, regulators are unlikely to see it that way. What about other coins? Some people may prefer to have a transparent option, but they will need to use a different coin like Pivx, for example. And Monero's technology is far from being the only solution for privacy, as there is indeed a wide range of privacy-enabled coins on the market. For example, we have Zcash and Pivx, all using different implementations of privacy technology, for example, zero knowledge proofs. And what about a 51% attack? If privacy became a real big issue for state actors, they could theoretically attack the network, regardless of the cost. But then the same could be said about a lot of proof of work coins. Privacy is a never-ending battle, and so far the Monero team has actually proven that they are up to the challenge of continuing to make the necessary moves to adapt to an ever-changing technology landscape. And yet, due to the powerful technology of Monero, I see a lot of opportunity with this coin. Yes, Monero has been the darling of the dark net, but it is actually growing in terms of being used by other merchants and for things like donations. And the mining browser technology, a bane to some, is actually being used by companies like change.org in order to fund social good. Future plans for Monero include second layer speed and scalability improvements, which may be a necessary step to keep it competitive in an ever-changing blockchain land space. The crypto arena is far from settled and there are many privacy competitors. Monero also has major liquidity being listed across nearly every major exchange, which is a very big bonus. The technology solutions for those seeking the digital equivalent of a stack of cash handed over on a park bench are alluring indeed. 
And this technology has massive use cases outside of just the darker side of society to those who like their freedom, those who do not want the government's prying eyes to know their business. Add into all of this a vibrant community and there is a lot of exciting potential for Monero. Now, what about the price potential? The question on everyone's mind. Previously, we have seen Monero at 350 US dollars, even a little more on some exchanges, 3.2 million Satoshis, which is well above the current levels. I would expect that Monero will fare very well in the future markets when we see a significant turnaround and seeing Monero at $1,000 a coin in the coming years is a very real possibility considering the low supply. But of course, those are just my two Satoshis. You will let me know what you think about Monero down below in the comment section. Thumbs up the video and share these videos around the internet to help our community grow. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to stay up to date with all of the latest in the crypto space, Join the conversation over on Twitter, Telegram, Steemit, Mines. You guys know the drill. Long live the blockchain, and peace out till next time.